Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Dinosaurs Will Die Wizard Stick. This board features Dinosaurs Will Die's crossbreed camber, which is cam rocker. So you got camber through the insert pack with rocker in the tip and the tail. This is gonna give you the load and pop and snap of traditional camber underfoot, but you're gonna get that ease of entry in and out of turns due to the rocker, as well as more optimal powder float, and it will be easier to press. This board is available in 146, 149, 154, and 158. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that was sunny bluebird, warmer temps, fresh corduroy, leftover pockets of powder, little tiny amounts of chunder, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This board has your standard middle of the road park flex to it. So you got softer tips, stiffer midsection, fair amount of torsional flex to it. No real surprises here with this. It is a very lively board, so you do get chatter out in the tip and the tail when it is riding around. Some of that slightly resonates underfoot in really rutted out terrain. Keep your knees bent, you'll be fine. If you don't, you're probably going to die. That's just how these things are. It is a board that can get knocked around in uneven terrain if you're not prepared for it. So since this board does have cam rocker to it, you have to load that camber section up. Where the camber hits the rocker, that's right where you're gonna notice that you get a lot of spring out of this board. It takes a little bit of effort to load the camber up, but nothing crazy. And there is some solid snap in this board. It wants to pop off lips. It wants to launch side hits off rollers, ollie over slow signs. Like the snap is solid in this board. And when it comes to jumping, this thing can handle just about anything. I mean, maybe not ultra mega booters of death, but small, medium, largest jumps, not a problem. Trannies, hips, anything like that. It's gonna pop up and off of them. And the snap in this board is only accentuated by the woo of the actual lip that you're hitting. So you're gonna notice that you're gonna be able to just send it a little further and a little bit higher with this deck. The nice thing about this board is you've got that rocker and the tip and the tail for buttering on. So get your weight out over it, flex into it, and you're gonna notice that right where the camper hits that rocker, it has a little bit of fight to it. Not a lot, just a little bit, so you might have to muscle it a little bit more, especially if you're a lighter weight rider. I'm not, so I don't have these issues. You get out over it, you can swivel and sizzle on the nose, and the, the one thing to note is with that pointy tip, you can catch this on snow, so be prepared for that. It may happen. Now, when it comes to jibbing, you get optimal snap out of any press you do, so really push into it, hold it, feel locked in. When you hit the end of the feature, pop back out, whether you're doing a nose press or a tail press. When you get sideways, that camber section will lock into the feature. You feel it just hug right around it. It cradles perfectly. It slides well. This is a board that, while it has a unique shape to it, you can still jib with it if you know what you're doing. A little more speed than normal is probably the only thing that I could suggest. Don't be super slow and lazy and you'll be fine. What's nice about this board is it's highly reactive when it's on edge. It's quick and nimble, and you notice that that turn initiation with the rocker is slightly accentuated. You just have this ease of getting it on edge. You do drive it through that camber section in the middle, so just be prepared to load that up and get it to just want to push into the edge. Now, the one downside is when you're railing super deep hard carves, there are limitations with this board, and you'll notice right where the camber hits the rocker, you lose a little bit of power out of the tail just to slingshot you out of a turn. Once you figure out what the limitations are, you can compensate your riding for it. What's nice is this board feels locked in. It's quick when you want it, so if you're in the park, you come down, you gotta dodge some stupid fat skier kid that fell in your way, you can just rip a turn around him. Those short, tight, quick carves, no problem. Medium, mellow carves, not an issue, and even deep aggressive carves to a point are all solid on this board. This board is a blast to carve on, especially when you're throwing a freestyle flare into it. 
So who's this board for? The freestyle focused all mountain guy that wants a little bit of camber between their feet in their life. This is probably my favorite version right now of the wizard stick since they switched the factory from the mothership over to playmaker. This board's more reactive. It's got a little bit more snap to it. It just feels like it's got a little bit more power when you're playing around with it. It's very lively. It's not very damp. It's a good board for what this board is. I like the shaping of it. It turns heads and people are like, oh my God, this guy's gonna hit park with a directional board. And it's it's, it's still a freestyle twin. It's, that's the best part about this thing. I love this thing. I can't speak enough quality things about this deck. So you should definitely check it out. Comparable boards, the Wired Vantage, the Rome Party Mod, the Endeavor Scout. This has been my review of the Dinosaurs Will Die Wizard Stick. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. I could tell you more here about that, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.